Today, I did the unthinkable. I've sat down with Andrew Tate. How you doing, man? I got... You got sparkling water or what? Who do you think I am? Of course I do. Shoe Nice 22. So you've been, you've been like relevant in some aspect or another for a very long time and you've had so many different so And now, a furry. Pyrocynical, that's right, that's who we're looking at here. Agreed to join me and let me ask him some really insane questions. I finally made it, guys. He's like a furry, he's not, I don't know. It's, it was a good interview. For those of you who are unfamiliar with Pyrocynical, he's been around literally forever, since the very beginning of YouTube time. You don't really even shum, hero. Okay, that's fine. What is, sh <coughs> what is shum? His existence is a dynasty of YouTube, and he's weathered a few storms, all right? A few goofs, a few gaffes, etc. you name it. He's been through it. I'm gonna use this video to address the allegations made against me. Pyro is absolutely f thriving, and he's also a goddamn furry, so I, I interviewed him. Basically, that's so where we're at. That's where we're getting to right now. Finally, I'm so happy to be here. I was paid fifteen hundred dollars an hour for this. And we're it's gonna be oh we're and that's the time is up. Oh, okay, guys, sorry, see you later. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, it's stuck in the fucking light. Oh shit. Are you still yeah. Look at this ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> we're here under the understanding that you are a furry. Are you really a furry? Are you actually a furry? Okay, I gotta. I feel like I gotta confirm my lawyers about this. There's a few parts to this video, by the way. One of them is literally titled Sexual Deviancy. You might wanna watch that one, okay? Or you might wanna watch furries, furry, the furry part, or uh, the TikTok part, you know? Or is this a bit? I wouldn't say, okay, it's, de okay, it's definitely gone on too long for it to be a bit. <laughs> I, I, I would I wouldn't say furry because like I'd never okay. I'd never run a fursuit in all this okay. I'd never see myself go into a convention but I'm definitely like a sexual deviant depraved degenerate okay so, so maybe but I don't know like I think the term degenerate works better than furry but yeah <laughs> I think those two terms are sort of interchangeable would yeah. you say? <laughs> but um uh, tomatoes tomatoes <laughs> tomatoes 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 <laughs> It is what it is. What do you think classifies you specifically as a furry as opposed to a degenerate or a degenerate as, a, as opposed to a furry? You're just into less... You, you, you basically said that you wouldn't wear a fursuit, you wouldn't go to a convention. Why wouldn't you go to a convention? Why wouldn't you wear a fursuit? I guess it's like it, you need to be involved in the community more. Yeah, like I said, I wouldn't see myself going to a convention. I mean, if you do, if you do, obviously the, the average Umperville viewer does. I understand that. That's totally fine. Yeah. You know, if you, if you got your own interest, go for it. But uh, yeah, I just don't see... So I, I don't see... Okay, I, I'll keep it level with you. I commission the. That's it. That's it. No, no involvement. <laughs> okay, I I I put yeah. money on the table. Done deal. Done deal. I get the eye yeah. leave. That's it. Done deal. It's a simple. It's a simple exchange. Exactly. Yeah. It's exactly. commerce. What the Western world is based off of. You're just living in it in the in the most modern way possible. As a degenerate. It's like it's like microtransactions or like Etsy. Exactly. <laughs> he gets it. He gets it. I've seen your uh, your girlfriend's uh, uh, Twitter page. Ah, sorry. Apologies. Yeah, it keeps getting recommended to me. A lot of people that I know follow it. Yeah, no, nah, it's, yeah. it's so genius, man, because, like, half my mates follow her out of courtesy, and the first thing they do is, like, <laughs> mute her instantly, and it's like, I don't blame you. I don't. Like, like, they'll link me, they'll link me stuff that she gets commissioned from, like, me or someone else, right? Mm -hmm. And then they'll be like, this is disgusting, and it's like, I mean, if you want to mute her, that's totally fine. Like, I don't even have any, like, if you want to mute her, even block her, it's fine. I get it. <laughs> The world isn't ready yet. What made you realize you were into this sort of stuff? Like, how old were you? What, what was like the first thing? Oh, uh, you know, I get asked this a lot. Really? I re okay, okay. So my, my game. Okay, so so this is my MatPat game theory. Like like MatPat candlestick game okay. theory. Okay. So I think a lot of people get weird kinks and shit from like early childhood. Mm -hmm. So it can either be trauma, or it could just be something very weird you see. And I think I read somewhere. So I'm I'm basically formulating all this from like a fucking Ask Jeeves search. But uh, I think a lot of people, uh, as kids, they see cartoons as a mm -hmm. child, and, and like they'll see something that kind of like f***s them up. So like, c could you imagine, right, how many shows have a cartoon character that gets like fat or something like that? That's like every single show ever. And yeah. I think what, what happens there is, it's almost like it's traumatizing to the kid. Because I remember seeing that happen you. a lot, and I was like, yes, me, hi. <laughs> hi. <laughs> I'm, I'm going on record, man. I'm going on record. Put in an ad break here. Put in an ad break here. Uh, and then I reckon it's like uh, you kind of... Your brain as a cope turns it into like something that you're aroused by. It, it's really weird. I think my, my earliest memory of that was... Uh, it's probably Spirit Away, the, the no-face character. The f 
Okay. Black Ghibli. Pop. You got Ghibli. I got. <laughs> Damn it! Give it again! Give it again! Well, all I'm saying is, all I'm saying is, if we all banded together to form lawsuits for how many kids got f***ed up from Ghibli films, we would Ghibli. be billionaires. Yeah. Yeah. I. I okay. So. Yeah. I. I do want to call it now the Ghibli class action lawsuit. <laughs> the Ghibli effect. Fred, Parentheses Ghibli's, yeah. <laughs> Holy shit, I wonder how many furries were created by Ghibli. Oh, there's so many. There's, like, like, they made so many, like, anthro furry characters, so yeah, 100%. I'm interested in the in the, the connection between the obese thing and furries. What is there a connection there? Because I've noticed that a lot. I see a lot of furries that are huge and just, like, you can climb in and, like, live in there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, uh, the, yeah, with the, the, the guts and shit. Yeah, I the don't... big fat gut. Okay. I did like five star jumps for a bit, and I just realized how little oxygen there is in here. <laughs> you, you can get out of the suit. You can get out of the suit. I might do. Okay. <laughs> I might do. I might, I, I was doing that. No, 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 because now it's going to make it look like I'm not fit. I got no cardio, man. This ain't good. It's steamed up in the front. Oh. That is a cool fursuit. <laughs> I think this was actually made like child size man because it took me like half an hour to get into that. Yeah, those uh, those yours is nice. I have a really shitty one compared to that. Ask away. Any questions? Okay. Oh, we were talking about fat people and furries. That's the one. <laughs> uh, how could I forget? That's the one. How could I forget? I'm an expert on on uh, on obese people. people uh, Shu and I said I was obsessed with them. On fat people. So how are you an expert then? I don't know. I, I'm not sure. I don't, I don't think I am an expert. I think people just say that I'm an expert because I make videos on the Thousand Pound Sisters and Nikocado Avocado. Like lots of videos. It's just average American at this point, isn't it really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like... Just, yeah. Just, I walk outside and I just start making a video. I just start filming, doing commentary. Do you think Nikocado has got a fasona? Dude, on it, that's a really good question. You know, Boogie does. Boogie does. That's not even a meme. I tried to <laughs> find it, bro. I couldn't. It, it was called a... Uh, oh, it, was the, it was the worst name. You know what? I, I made sure... You know how people will like... They'll get furry characters and then they'll give it like a... I, I, I've clicked on links and they'll give yeah. the furry character a name, which, uh -huh. which is fun. But then they'll give them this big detailed backstory. Yeah. Like, final. I don't... It, Again, if you do that, that's fine. I don't get it. I don't, I, I've got like four, uh, three or four characters. Uh, like none of them are named. It's just like whatever I was interested in at the time. But like, uh, I remember Boogie's character's name was, uh, it's it like Uber Wolf or something. <laughs> <laughs> Dark Wolf Dragon Fang. I just wish, I wish they found it, man. I wish they found it. Cause you know, like, There'd be so much good fan art of it, of like, you know, oh, maybe yeah. him holding the gun and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, so, uh, w would you, would you say personally that just kind of like larger people and furries are cut from the same cloth? No, that, that, that's the weird thing, because I'm not like, I'm not aroused by obesity in real life. There's no correlation. It's so right. weird. I, like, I, I wish I understood. Like, like sex, I, I've talked to a couple other like fairies about this and sex as a concept in the brain is so f weird. You can have like one slip up, like like see one spooky show or something as a yeah. kid just f for life completely. F you up. But yeah, there, there's definitely no correlation between people in real life and then uh like like the, the furry stuff yeah that, i mean that makes perfect sense to me I, I genuinely don't know people always tell me that i'm a furry uh which i'm not i don't think yeah. but uh yeah I, i'm amazed you haven't had any furry fan art yet like even if you're not a furry usually yeah. you usually end up getting one fan that draws you i mean i could i could see you as a mm. as a as a i see you as a I, I was thinking the word, but I don't need to take it as an insult. I, I see you as like an otter or like a weasel. <laughs> a weasel? <laughs> you know, I can be a weasel. Is, the best thing is I thought of weasel from the beginning and I was like, okay, I'm going to use a softer word before I hit him with the weasel. Because it's just... <laughs> it's an fun. otter like, holding hands, what? giving hugs, and then a fucking weasel. I see you as a weasel or a little wriggly worm. <laughs> I could be a worm, I think. I think I'm very I'm very sinewy and long and thin, so that kind of makes sense. Just a worm, with a, a worm with a mustache. A worm a with worm a mustache, with yeah. One thing that I'm interested in, would you say it's a point of pride or shame? Are you, do you ever feel ashamed for anything that you believe in? I, I understood the question until what you believe in. Are we talking politics here? Well, no, no, no. You believe in furries. You believe in <laughs> jacking it to like, I don't know. Or maybe you don't. I don't know. Maybe you just like it. What's your opinion on September the 11th? Was it a green screen effect or? Uh, I, it was It was definitely shame for me, I think, for a while. But yeah. then when I kind of realized, you know, it's like, holy shit, there are actually so many disgusting degenerates online. It is, I was just kind of like, yeah, it's, it's whatever. It, it, it's almost like, uh, oh, you know what? Okay, this is so lame. This is so lame what I'm about to say, right? I'm excited. So I was watching Game of Thrones. I started re-watching Game of Thrones. You know the, the, the little man? What's his name? 
Tyrion? Yeah, yeah, Pete, Peter Dinklage's uh, character, yeah. yeah. He says to Jon Snow in like, the first episode, you need to wear uh, shame like armor because no one else is ever going to forget. So you need to that, like, dude. almost wear... And I, 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 I did the Reddit thing where I got up out of my bed and I applauded. Yes! Like, it was, <laughs> like, it was uh, Infinity War midnight release, man. Like I applauded. <laughs> I was like, holy... And then I did the story point. I was like, literally like... It's me, like, <laughs> I'm the little guy. Yeah, that's, uh, I, I completely agree. I, I feel like, I don't really see how it really would be considered shameful by, by, you know, anyone with like a full shame, right? No, no, it, it definitely is disgusting and degenerate. I'm not trying to normalize it, but like, you know, I'm kind of, I'm just comfortable being into it. Why do you think it is nor disgusting though? I feel like it's really not that, I feel like there's way no, worse. It, I, I think, okay, you think what's worse? I think there's way worse things. I mean, I don't really like- okay, So a, a good example is like the most, they say the most common kink is feet. Okay. And that kind of like, that still is kind of, seen like looked down upon like mm -hmm. it's almost like i remember seeing this this scale it was genius it was like a, it was like a thermal scale and it was like arousal compared to disgust and it was like the, the thigh was like the most lit up bit and then as soon as it gets closer and closer to the leg it goes colder and the bottom is just like absolute disgust <laughs> uh but yeah i i think it's like a it's like a societal thing almost right yeah, it's yeah. almost like you see like o obesity is almost like apart from very few groups of people it's like looked down upon almost like you're mm -hmm. i remember black mirror doing like an episode about it like they're, they're second class citizens and shit and, and yeah. because it's you know uh the, the the fat furry stuff is so intertwined with like fat people in real life there's that connection that it is like disgusting right i could totally see that because i i've seen people have sent me kink art that i think is completely <laughs> disgusting and then i empathize with them because they'd look at you know what I've commissioned be like, you should kill yourself, young man. That's disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've seen some f up stuff, like really f up stuff. I like when, like when one of my mates will find like what I've commissioned from my girlfriends. Uh, like for example, Dolan. You know Dolan. He'll he'll just send me like it, it's genius because his profile picture is this beautiful innocent cat that wouldn't harm anyone, and then he'll just send me a message at three in the morning saying hang yourself immediately, <laughs> just with no context. <laughs> It's great. Would you say you've ever converted anyone to furrydom? Or, or what would you do if I became a furry after this interview? I thanked you for it. Like I, I kind of like gave you like the monkey paw. I interview you and then I become a furry. Well, we, we'd get you set up with a, a ref sheet. So a reference sheet is like a, a sheet of your character, like the front, back and the side. Okay, so, yeah. it makes, so it's easily identifiable. So I'm imagining like this wriggly worm. <laughs> And he's oh you know like, you know what I love so much about furries as well like well like when they make a ref sheet they'll always make their character like insanely tall like not possible so yeah. it'd be like seven foot eleven or something right yeah, like everyone grew height. Be yeah yeah so I imagine your worm being I don't know so let, let's be modest here I'd say eight foot twelve or something mm -hmm. so we start from there and I imagine him with like a little definitely got the little mustache on ten gallon hat I'm imagining that as well okay I like that this what's his name one. what's what's this worm's name Rodney Cotton maybe. Chumply skunk cap? Worm. <laughs> just worm. <laughs> okay, yeah, just simple. I like it. Okay. Run out, the, run out of the uh, creative department there. That's worm. cool. All right. I got some less <laughs> odd questions to ask now. What is like one of the coolest things you feel like you've done? One of your most crowning achievements just in general throughout your uh, your your tenure on YouTube or before? Like recently, surviving that shit I took before we did the interview. Because that was that was absolutely terrible. Like, do you, are you, are you, do you drink, like, uh, Tabasco sauce? No, I, okay. You, do you put, no, you don't f drink it. Do you put Tabasco sauce on your food? You don't yes. just drink it out the... Yeah. So I, I'm, like, so white, because I'm, I'm, right. like, part Irish as well, and yeah. Ireland is known as, like, complete white, like, Casper heaven. So we can't deal with spice that well. So I love Tabasco sauce. I put it on all my food. Okay. All my, like, reps and stuff. And then I end up, it, it's basically, like, it, it's great, man, because it's, like, Russian roulette, but half the chambers are loaded. So it's, like, half the time, I'll be okay. I'll be able to keep working. And then half the time, I will just be stuck on the toilet in agony for an hour. And when I felt it down here in my intestines, I was, like, I do not want to bail on this guy's interview again i feel like such a piece of shit and it's just such a bad reason like i what i'm gonna f elvis presley on the toilet so i gotta bail the interview but then thankfully yeah we uh yeah we, we moved thankfully, you worked I, it out uh, yeah <laughs> you worked a couple, it out a couple squats um uh, yeah i mean if, if you're on about like ever i i definitely think the the long form shit i do on the main channel yeah because uh that isn't financially viable for me at all uh, right but I do really enjoy making them. Like, honestly, since doing this second channel, I have made like 
more money than I probably would have ever made in a year on the main channel. It's insane. I, I see why Critical no, does it. I see why Critical does it. I see why you do it because it is just, it's literally just <laughs> money printer. It really truly is. Yeah. Yeah. It's weird. I remember Ludwig watching me uh, on stream and he watched my Utopia video. You know, the, the funny yellow thumbnail? Yeah. Yeah. So it, he was there and he was, oh, it was so genius, man. He was there like, I bet this video made a million dollars. <laughs> And he, I, he wasn't even doing a bit. I think he was genuinely convinced that I made a million dollars. It did Off not make a million. Dollars. Seven hour video. Is it the seven hour one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But yeah, no, it, it didn't make anywhere near a million dollars. But uh, obviously still a decent amount, but not even like a fraction of that. But uh, yeah, no, I, I enjoy making them because they're not financially viable, but it's more like a passion project thing. And I think if I, I do have this kind of worry that if I completely sold out and just went to like daily uploading content, it wouldn't really differentiate me that much from other people mm -hmm. like for example people like critical he's been doing it way longer like, i don't think uh we're in competition at all because he's just he's been doing it for so much longer he is like such a huge yeah because he, he, he i'd say he's basically the leading person because i remember it used to be it used to be h3 h3 right it was like the golden boy right i feel that's kind of gone over to charlie a little bit now just because of like i've never seen anyone with that much consistent community respect but right. yeah no it's it's definitely just to make sure i don't like fall off but also they are passion projects because i do like when I upload a video on the second channel, I'll probably spend like 10 minutes reading the comments and then just leave it. But then when I, this sounds really sad. When I get a video out on main, I'll literally spend like hours just reading the comments. Right, just people see what people think, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's pretty cool. Have you uploaded any videos that you're kind of like, that you're really, really happy with? Um, Yeah, I'd say a few, but uh, really I just, I've been doing the daily thing for such a long time that just, I don't know. It's, I, be, mm. I at this point, I'd say I'm putting more effort than ever into the videos, like the last yeah. two months really. And that's just because like, I mean, it's stuff out of out of the interview that like requires a lot of money, and now I'm finally yeah, seeing yeah. into it. So it's like time to actually do some cool shit. But yeah, a few a few videos. I would say uh, the most recognizable one that I got the most recognition for that was different from, I, from what I normally do is the autist interviews Andrew Tate. I'm smoking yeah. cigars. I'm walking down the street. Yeah, doing my thing, being rich. Right. That was a that was a pretty pinnacle moment for me. Oh, that was so good. Yeah. No, I I just remember seeing the clip everywhere, and it's like. <laughs> You, you literally just say deadpan to him, oh, I'm autistic. And then it was like, <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. I genuinely can't even tell if you were doing a bit or not because the way it was edited so well. Yeah, yeah. Tara added the, the sad music right at the yeah. beginning. Uh, yeah. uh, I have autism, just to be honest with you. Um, but yeah, okay. so. It's like, stop, 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 stop. Yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah, I can't play the piano, but I can make it really uncomfortable. Cool. I, I am, I do have Asperger's and I was doing a bit with him to see what he would say and he yeah. basically admitted to having the same thing that I have so that's pretty cool and he doesn't believe in autism but how can he admit to having the same thing as you but not having autism he asked me what the thing what specifically about what I have makes me different from other people and then he I, I explained it to him and then he just said he agreed and had the exact same thing which is just a like a lack of empathy for what people say or do <laughs> so I just imagine him completely getting like the definition wrong. So he just sits there like, when I'm scrolling a TikTok at three in the morning and I see Patrick Bateman and Ryan Gosling, I think that's me. That's me. I am Asperger for sure. <laughs> <laughs> and he's just there, like he's watching, he's watching TikTok. He'll probably have one of those. You, you seen that? You seen uh, like how Keemstar's got like a huge tablet of, of Twitter constantly yeah. scrolling. Yeah. So he would definitely have that on his little boat and he's just reading Twitter while he's like using his <laughs> nunchucks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> commentate W. Commentate W. Dude, he's he's a goofball. What do you think about him? Like, uh, just in like a short. I, you know what? This is so boring. But like, I didn't look enough into it. The only thing I know is that Sneeko kind of grew from that whole uh, that whole moment, I guess, of people mm -hmm. like you know, get becoming red pilled or based or whatever. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I've I've liked Sneaker for a while. I've been a big uh, fan of his content. I, I met him in person uh, once in London as well. He, he was super chill. Uh, but Tay, I, I don't know, man. I, I think some of the stuff he said was pretty funny, but I think it's like the only problem with it is, is when you shill stuff like that constantly, you are just going to attract incels. Yeah, like, the, 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 you true. will definitely attract incels, unfortunately. You will attract like dregs of society that feel that nothing is going right for them. And the easiest thing to blame is like the opposite sex. Right. I don't do that. I mean, I love blaming women for things out of my control. It's ba it's based, but like not not to that extent. Like, like literally, I was watching the Andrew Tate video and I was like, boy, uh, I said, I was like, Andrew, keep it in the boys Discord chat. Hell, don't make a podcast about it. Don't let yeah, him know. He's don't wild, dude. 
He's no, no, no. wild. What have you, boys think? you know Sneeko? Have you seen what he's been up to lately? No. He, dude, he's been uh, he's been going down the Nick Fuentes rabbit hole, kind of getting a little anti-Semitic on live streams. Like he got a strike for being anti-Semitic like two weeks ago. Yeah, I I saw that he got he got yoinked off Twitter and he got yoinked off because I. I saw him initially when he was up in his blow up and I congratulated mm -hmm. him. I was like, nice one, man. And then I kind of just like, I, I never watched him again. Yeah. Because I watched him for his uh, his street interviews and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember seeing those. It was it was very interesting. That's why like the whole uh, like Destiny, Nick Fuentes, Tate, like there's a weird like love love triangle. Like uh, Gideon's kind of up in that. Like it's, it's very strange how they're all like doing the same shit and there's just like tears to to how insane they've they've like gotten and then tate's gone now and sneeko is going to be gone very soon it's just like yeah, it's a weird was, like trickle thing i was talking to dolan about this dolan kind of like prophesized that that he'd be next that sneeko would be kicked off next yeah it, it's people like like judeon i feel that they have the same beliefs but he knows to focus on like the bag first so he doesn't yep. make it public if that makes sense mm -hmm. so he definitely keeps it to as we should all do in the boys discord group chat yeah instead of like spouting it off in a, in a live stream yeah yeah i'm definitely uh uh, none of the things that I believe would get me canceled for sure not. I don't think so. Um, but anyways, do you, if you weren't a creator, what do you think you'd be doing? Anyways, you can't anyways that. What, what do you think you'd be doing if you weren't a creator? What do you think? Um, me? Yeah. You? What, if, if I wasn't a YouTuber? Yeah, what would you do? What would you, would you be an influencer? <laughs> <laughs> what an influencer sorry it's just stupid oh, i just no. hate that word so much yeah no it's 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 genius how even like e-celeb is becoming saturated as a word now yeah mm -hmm. it, I, I can't say the word influencer because i think e-celebs spiraled it generated from people's hatred of the word influencer yeah um what would i do it's funny you say that because I, I wanted to be like a but before youtube i i wanted to be like a gp or a doctor that's cool like a general practitioner did you have that in america yeah yeah yeah. just a, just a you're like your, your oh, yeah, average like a family doctor yeah. Yeah. yeah like they know a little bit of everything but they don't specialize in anything yeah, yeah. I, I wanted to do that but like i was okay at biology but you had to get uh, an additional science like chemistry or physics and yeah mm -hmm. i wasn't it, and the, the only thing i actually was good at at school i think was like creative writing as well so i think that kind of bled into uh writing the, the videos and stuff that i do now yeah. so yeah but obviously <laughs> like you know i, I kind of realized at one point it's like i could be a doctor i could help people but probably make like 0.5 percent of like what i'd make as a youtuber so i don't know if you've looked but like being a gp or a doctor in the uk it is depression central like, i don't think there's a job with more suicide rates like like unironically it's really <laughs> It's really bad. Yeah, I think it's somewhere here too with like surgeons and shit like that. Just because you see so many people just get sick and die all the time. Yeah. So what's the suicide rate for YouTubers? Oh, what do you... I mean, I, I feel so many be undocumented though, right? And they probably, probably quit yeah. after a while. I... It's probably like 99%, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Eventually, over 50 years, 99% of YouTubers it'd, it'd will kill like themselves. voluntary suicide from just liver damage from them just like yeah. drink coke every time they finish a project or something. <laughs> Yeah, that's uh, yeah, that's I, I agree. I agree. I think that I think that's gonna we'll, we'll see over the next few decades. We'll see. What's your thoughts on TikTok though? Do you use TikTok? So I I hate TikTok, but I try to use it to milk. I feel a lot a lot of YouTubers do this. They'll use it to kind of milk content out of it. So it's almost kind of like a, a fuck you to TikTok because yeah. TikTok literally is made to keep you on it all day. Like like I see yeah. so many white girls on Twitter that are like they'll take a screenshot of their phone usage and it'll be like for nineteen hours a day. Like I remember actually saying to my monitor when I saw one of them, I was like get a fucking life like please that's insane but, uh, what, what i do is i think like a lot of youtubers i'll scroll tiktok for like an hour probably yeah around about an hour and then i'll save a couple of them yeah ones that i could video off i mean what one thing i was going to make a video on at the minute is uh i don't know if you've seen on, on tiktok these uh these people that are doing a day in the life of a small streamer i, I think i've seen that yeah they're terrible that, that yeah. some, of them, some of them are absolutely terrible and then some of them are just obviously bait as well like, like one of them said uh, yeah. i don't drink water without g fuel because i want to get more vitamins yeah now it, it is bait it's you've have you seen it the clip yeah it's it's absolutely insane dude did TikTok, a lot of TikTok, especially my for you page is a lot of bait seems like a lot of bait a lot of downs yeah because they, they want you to make videos on them so then they can be like you know try and get clout off that but again it's, yeah. it's you know that meme of it's like two stick men and it's like lol lamau i tricked you i was only pretending to be <laughs> it's like yeah you yeah, you so. yeah exactly you you can't just because you cover yourself with layers of irony doesn't mean it's you know 
not, it doesn't mean it's ironic. What is often on your For You page, you think? Like, what's the crazy shit you consistently think you see that's just always on there? I'd say 49% of it, which is a bit worrying, I'm probably on some watch list, is like these kind of incel memes that are promoted to teenagers. So it's like yeah. Ryan Gosling from Drive walking through a, a grocery market and he sees like a woman and then he walks away and the caption will be like, you know, me when I see a girl that I can't talk to or something. And it's like, yeah. why the f am I got a girlfriend? Why am I being recommended this? Like, there's so obviously TikToks made for like 16 year olds that right. like, you know, yeah. And then I think the 1% left over is actual usable content. So stuff that I can make videos off. Like for example, that guy that uh, does the the streaming, uh, day in the life of a small streamer. And then he'll say, you know, he drinks G Fuel because it has more vitamins than water. That's genius. Very brave. Um, <laughs> yeah, I would say my For You page is very similar to that. Uh, other than a little bit less Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul, a little bit less, uh, you know, streamer, day in the life of streamer guy, and way more people who are mentally ill. That seems to be what most of mine is. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. No, actually, you reminded me. I've got a couple of them. Yeah. I definitely have a couple of them. I love uh, it. Could, could you could you give an example? Um. Well, there's. Uh, I mean, <sighs> there's a guy that I love who makes uh, songs basically, and it's just songs of him just basically making sounds, and then he duets it, and then he adds another layer of sound, and then he duets it again and adds another layer of sound, and and the I believe <laughs> he has Down syndrome, and it's like really good. And then there's another fellow uh, who sings. So, so and when then he, he farts. when he do. When he duets it on like the tenth layer, is it just completely un unintelligible music because it's like ten songs playing at once? It's certainly not quantized. Yeah, the 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 rhythm is different for every single one, so it's just like just loud, unending sound. It's very difficult to listen to. Yeah, not a good song, <laughs> but you know, I still love the videos. Nice. Yeah. That sounds. Uh, I wish I got recommended more stuff like that. Yeah, it's uh, there's some good shit I get on there. There's a uh, another kid. Do you know who Jeremy Fragrance is? Oh yeah, I, I keep I keep being recommended oh, to him, yeah. and it's like he's. he's awesome. Has he been like drinking the perfume that he shills? I don't understand what's going on with him. <laughs> the, the meme is how many lines has he done today? He just like he has varying <laughs> levels of just fucking insanity that he portrays in his videos. But I have a German friend who said on. Like that he's very self-aware and is playing a character because he knows it does really well. And like on German yeah. TV, he's like, I'm always fucking, you know, f over these like the f idiots on TikTok and, and Instagram. He's just playing a character and doing crazy shit. Like recently he smashed a raspberry and was just like, oh, and just was screaming for like 10 seconds about how good it smelled. It's like, uh, I, I know what you mean about playing a bit and stuff that, yeah, that, that definitely does get views. But I, I remember seeing uh, a video about him on TikTok about how like, veganism has like destroyed his brain or something because he's not getting enough nutrients to yeah. his brain you, you, know, you know that typical like tiktok <laughs> over analyzing yeah like i'm not like like i'm not even joking bro people make jokes about you know reddit armchair therapists thinking they can psychoanalyze someone from a picture 15 year old white girls on tiktok are another level like they sit there and yeah. they pull out this like thesaurus of like buzzwords that they found in like psychology yeah. that they got taught earlier in the day and it's like yeah he seems quite unhinged he might be like a a beta personality type. He might be missing some vitamin B12. He might need some amethyst stones. A charged. Yeah. <laughs> he's um yeah, he he's a bit of a goofball for sure and like to psychoanalyze him would be to psychoanalyze the 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 devil himself it seems because his mind is so uh twisted and chaotic. He's crazy though, like genuinely, but in a maybe a funny way. Most normal German. Most normal German man ever. True. He also has this crazy story about how he was he was forced to be gay for a while and had sex with men. Um, but he was forced to. I'm not really sure how that, you know, the rabbit hole of that. I really want to interview him, though. That's what I, I really want to. Yeah, you know, I want to interview Jeremy Fragrance. Okay, I'll, I'll leave. I'll leave. I can, just, <laughs> I, I can just get back in my dinosaur costume. I can leave. I just can go leave. back to your normal life. <laughs> Yeah, he's crazy. Um, but anyways, I brought him up though because there's a kid now, a little American kid who just he smells stuff and he's like, "It's good. It's, 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 it's good. It's, it's great. It smells like aqua." And he just comes up with the he's like a sommelier of, of fragrance, and it's just the least descriptive words you possibly can can come up with because he's a kid. He's just doing it. Yeah. So it's he's on my for page. Word. It's yeah. just word soup as well. Just nothing, <laughs> yeah. nothing coherent. Yeah. It smells natural. It smells like like the ocean. Yeah. Just like the they'll, most let, they'll pull shit. up any like four syllable buzzword they can. Yeah, exactly. You should kind of you should like show show him some uh, show him some Andrew Tate TikToks. So then you change his like vocabulary so he smells something. He goes, "This is base. <laughs> <laughs> this, <laughs> this, this is Sigma." What do you think was better, Vine or TikTok? Oh, I, I don't even remember watching Vine. Not gonna lie. And most of the people that came from Vine that are still around, I hate Orange. them. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So probably. 
probably TikTok. I remember seeing this TikTok once. It's pretty viral, actually. Um, it's like this girl's voice, but it's like, um, to the older generation of TikTok, everyone born before 2000. It's like... <laughs> <laughs> and then it, because it's such a stupid thing right it's like yeah, yeah, yeah. to the to the older generation and yeah it's the like 23 year like olds 20 yeah 23 it's like fuck oh, off fuck yeah off, cynthia get a fucking mom's ipad yeah it's really hard not to be very rude uh to people on tiktok because i just see it and then but the chances of them them seeing you say what you have to say is very high i've gotten canceled like 10 times on tiktok just someone making a video being like why would you so mean to me and i wasn't even really mean uh, I think it's like I, I. One thing I've noticed with my TikTok has one of the most bitter communities of people I've ever seen in my entire life. Because every TikTok I go onto, the top comment, if they haven't disabled the comments already, will just be someone roasting. It'll always be someone roasting. Like I saw this advert once uh, in the UK uh, on TikTok for like a, a hotel, like a breakfast, uh, an Airbnb, and it was this woman, and she was like quite large, mm -hmm. and she was saying, uh, you know. She said in, in the ad, it was some like, she's kind of famous as well. I think she was on Love Island or something. And she said something like, uh, oh yeah, I'm going to, uh, I think I'm going to stock up on a lot of food on the way. And the top comment had like 10,000 likes and it just said, oh, are you now? <laughs> <laughs> and then, and then I got the same TikTok the next day because it was an ad and the comments were disabled. I was oh, crying. Oh my God. Yeah. The comments are relentless on that platform it's like bullying is crazy on there i love watching it and, and the best thing is you know that they're all like 12 as well mm -hmm. yeah they're like just young little boy children. plus plus ratio young boy better <laughs> kid cuddy or uh little pete i don't know <laughs> um what do you think of aiden ross and i show speed as the current like role models for the youth what do you think about them after the, I don't, the wa I don't watch aiden at all I aiden just seems to surround himself around people that are like popular i, I that, that's that, all yeah, i see that's what he's known but, for but uh speed's hilarious i think speed's what, what people speed is just ksi when ksi first came on you, you know okay. you know when ksi was doing like you know face and stuff yeah yeah speed is just doing that but it's more like energetic and because it's live it's on a live stream it's yeah. not in a, in a youtube video because i remember when ksi back at his parents house he would record videos with his uh with, with deji his brother you know and, and they'd have so many like memeable moments mm -hmm. like this is bit where they're being chased by a monster and uh, you can hear ksi like oh, stop screaming stop screaming <laughs> it's like you know just losing his shit speed kind of has that with every single stream because he only streams for like a couple hours a day so he's got like really high energy probably yeah. does a bit of like i don't know if he's like speedballing or something or he's on like yeah meth but uh jeremy fragrance lines <laughs> He just drinks some edits while like, just straight down. <laughs> um, yeah, he's really he's killing it at the minute. Definitely, I do. I I think he's entertaining, but he, he definitely is just KSI again. One thing I've noticed because I've been on YouTube for a while now, you just have these cycles. It's it's like how the first cycle of Minecraft it was Yogg's cast. Uh, mm -hmm. They blew up Minecraft. They they fell off, and now it's like Dream and Tommy in it and all that. And eventually they will fall off. It, it's inevitable. And then uh, you'll have another cycle of Minecraft and another cycle. We need a new Lion like, Maker. <laughs> Um, yeah, I, mean, I agree I don't though. I know about that one. I, go, I, I agree totally. I, I agree totally though, yeah. I don't know about that one. Didn't he have like an underwear line as well at one point? <laughs> yeah, it's just like, it's, it's, uh, he was actually baiting. He was actually baiting. He, it's like the equivalent of going on to catch a predator and be like, oh, you can't catch me. Who? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, you're, you're, you're right though. There's, it seems like there's cycles, uh, to all that stuff. People just become irrelevant and then other people fill the, fill the spot. I feel you like, get, the, yeah, you get people. One thing I've noticed people that like, they shine twice as bright, definitely fall off quicker. So, for example, uh, Rice Gum, right? Rice yeah. Gum was fucking huge. He fell off. Uh, I think he did choose to quit, but it's still kind of fallen off, I guess. And then you've got people like Markiplier and Jacksepticeye. They, they're still, like, I think Jacksepticeye is getting like a fraction of the views he used to get, but he's still definitely making probably millions a month. Same with yeah. Markiplier. Like, like, they're doing really well for themselves, amazingly. Uh, you, you know what I love actually talking about falling off? I, I watch uh, Sunny V2's videos a lot. You know, the guy and he talks about yeah. people that fall off. He'll always be like, and this quibble cop guy got 400 million views a month and now he only gets 4 million and then i look at my own views and it's like i get f less views than him now than when he fell off entirely yeah. like cheers, cheers for that mate yeah I yeah appreciate yeah. It. yeah i i, I saw that video of the quibble cop fell off he got like 400 yeah, million yeah. and 90 million the next month and then like he's down to like four to eight or some shit. like, all right, that's I, a I really I, good wage, bro. Yeah, no, it's still great. I, I think a lot of people kind of just give up as well. They just kind of just get bored of YouTube. Yeah. But yeah, no, there's definitely a lot of falling off. But yeah, Rice Gum kind of quit. Speed will probably have some kind of very dramatic decline because the problem is when seven-year-olds turn to eight, they usually look for like another YouTuber to watch. So uh, yeah, it, 
I think it, the most important thing is to build like a consistent fan base. It's like with my videos, I don't think I've ever had like any major, apart from a couple of videos on the main, I don't think I've ever had like any major, major juices. It's been more kind of like, you know, mid views. Yeah. But I kind of prefer it that way because um, because if I got like huge exponential growth overnight, I'd kind of be worried thinking, oh shit, okay, w when is the fall off going to happen? Because mm -hmm. I've seen so many YouTubers talk about it, like for example, Tommy in it, Tommy in it uh, talked about it in an interview saying, yeah, the views aren't as good as they were before. And it's just like, shit don't let that happen to me if you're genius you just keep punishing yourself it's like upload a video for 10 seconds delete it no one saw it i didn't fall <laughs> off it was never out the video was never released guys <laughs> yeah dude i i don't really I, yeah i don't really think about that kind of stuff because it just makes me i just feel like i'm always constantly going to fall off and i have so many subs but like my i don't know i've just changed my content style so much i've always kept like the same 150 to 400,000 people watching every single video like from the beginning so it's weird that's good though that's good though that's dedication i mean uh yeah i, I feel you will no matter how many times you change content you will have like that loyal fan base yeah. like you know i i went from mlg videos to leafy you know literally commentary videos uh and then i went to like funny moments and that i think the funny moments bit was scary for me because that's when my views were like at their lowest and i was like oh shit okay i've killed my channel yeah but then i managed to worm my way into like uh doing the long form stuff and i think that kind of supercharged the channel so yeah I, I think i'm in a good place at the minute where i can like do the long form videos every month or every other month and then i can do the the dog shit you know fast food content right. on main yeah that's that's what yeah I've, I've tried i've basically just stolen your uh your your theme but on a way worse scale imagine like <laughs> i mean you, you've been doing it longer than me though no you've been doing the daily uploads i've only been yeah. doing the daily uploads i think i think for about two months or something you've but, been doing it ages but now my main channel though i don't upload daily now i upload like once a week or twice a week on my main channel and but what i do is i just take a normal shitty video and i just make it longer uh, yeah but uh, <laughs> uh no, i'm trying to actually like do some cool shit i've got uh some cool stuff hopefully planned but yeah, but the, but you're, the the way you did it is is I think very intelligent. I think it's I think it's probably the smart way to do it, where you have like one sort of passion project channel to 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 help with you know your pride and, yeah. and like feeling good and actually making good shit right and expressing yourself, and then one to appease YouTube. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I appreciate that. I, I definitely think it's like it helps keep me sane as well. Mm -hmm. If I was just doing the daily videos, even though the money I'm making is like ten times more than what I'd make on the main, I don't want to you know wake up every day and be like. Oh what did james charles do today you know just like <laughs> yeah. just something i don't give a fuck about yeah. i don't i don't give a f but yeah it's just passion project and also appeasing uh susan so well who's your favorite content creator right now you think big or small um uh, you know what you are umpa you're my favorite content creator no way i literally don't you're believe that favorite. for a moment nah uh <laughs> who, 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 <laughs> i was gonna say what <laughs> Andrew I don't Tate, know, man, I I feel like yeah, no, Andrew. What was this? What was this uh, channel called? Tate. Tate speech. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can I can literally just imagine all the f***ing incels applauding with their elbows. Like, oh, I get it, I get it. Yeah, um, yeah I don't know. I, I feel you reach a point on YouTube where you stop watching YouTubers unless you're like stealing video ideas from them. Yeah, I no, I, I don't watch that? any YouTubers. Yeah. yeah. I no, no, I, 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 I talked to Max Mofo about this a couple of years ago. I don't think YouTubers watch YouTubers ever. We, we don't, yeah. unless we're mindlessly scrolling or we're watching uh, some kind of, well, something to steal a video idea from. Yeah. 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 That, yeah. No, I completely agree. I completely agree. It sounds really jaded and bitter, but I don't really see a problem with it. it. Is, yeah. I, I think, yeah, it's almost like, you know, like we're all working in the same office block, right? It's like, why would you want to look at someone else's work unless you mm -hmm. want to... Yoink! Yoink! <laughs> yoink! Um, least favorite content creator who of any of any platform like Instagram. Who, who's the most hated right now that you that you dislike the most and you think is just oh, the worst? I wish I wish a name would come to mind, but I can't think of any. Uh, yeah, I I I, I couldn't even I could even say. I mean, I, I'd say Keemstar, but he kind of fell off. <laughs> Keemstar, he kind of fell off. Yeah. Uh, what about like? Uh, like the pink sauce girl from TikTok. Do you, do you like her? Have you seen her? Oh, please don't tell me she made money off that, man. I beg. I bought five bottles of it. They still haven't arrived. And that was over a month and a half yeah. ago. It's just, like you saw all the stuff about it, right? That it wasn't refrigerated pop oh, yeah. properly and stuff. And just everything. Yeah. And then and then she's blaming like the other companies and stuff. It's genius. Yeah. Like I don't, I will never understand how like 
kids buy this random crap. It's just sauce, but it's pink. I mean, obviously you bought it because you saw it was blowing up and you wanted to milk the trend. That's right. totally fine. But obviously if it wasn't a trend to begin with, you wouldn't have bought it, but it was a trend because all the fucking kids were buying it. So, I did the glow in the dark sauce. Yeah. <laughs> it made my belly glow when I eat it. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, just give these kids a f sticky uranium or something, man, for yeah. Christmas. There you go. They eat that. Like Bart Simpson. <laughs> But yeah, no, I get you though. That's least favorite. I just imagine, I just imagine in my head like Bart Simpson eating the pink sauce, and then Homer goes to like strangle him. No, <laughs> oh, are you little? <laughs> are you little? Yeah. No. Nope. How many times have you listened to Memories by Peter Griffin and and Fam? What what is? I haven't heard of that. What is that? Oh, I'm gonna link it to you really quick. Let's yeah, see. it's pretty right. serious. I'm surprised you haven't seen it. Memories. Yeah, give me. Here you go. Go ahead and send that to you. Oh, this is real. Oh no. It's good. Yeah. Good stuff. I saw this. I saw this on Twitter, and I thought it was like a bit. No, no, this guy made this non-ironically two years ago. <laughs> I, I just love where we've reached the point now where you've had to like preface by saying it was non-ironic. <laughs> it's it's almost like a disclaimer, right? It's non-ironic. It's non-ironic, guys. That's what makes it great. <laughs> That's what makes it so fucking good. And he's been like remilking it now too, which is awesome. He's like actually getting back into it. I love how it's just Peter Griffin and then Homer Simpson. Like, yeah. He's to the one. It's just everyone, all the the whole animated world. Which impression was best? Leave a comment and rank all ten. Yeah, it, it, I I feel like I just came from like a 2012 video. Yeah. Favorite and subscribe. Remember, you could favorite videos. I forgot about that until just now. What the. F I do not. I, that's crazy. I forgot about Gemini, that. Do you remember when annotations were a thing as well? Yeah, I do remember that. Yeah, those things. And were then you ugly. had uh, people could reply to your videos, reply girls. Do you remember that? I remember those. Yeah, I used that's to be in madness. love with one of them girls. That's that's so long ago. That's so long ago. It's so weird yeah. to think that like that was even a thing that you could just hijack someone's video. I remember they'd always have these like huge pair of like milk jugs in the mm -hmm. thumbnail as well, like their badonkas just out like that, and it's and then they would probably watch like two seconds of the video. It's like I thought it was really. Good. And that was their entire thing. And everyone just applauded with their penises. Good. Um, if you were stranded on a desert island, who would your dream team be to survive? Oh, is there any limits? I feel there's got to be limits on this. Or I could yeah, yeah. It. It really, there, there should be a limit. Someone you could you could call right now or someone you know. So I've got service on the island. Well, yeah, 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 yes. Yeah, exactly, yeah. I was I instantly thought of the White House or something, but I wouldn't even get through because the f***ing switchboard. Uh, so I could make one call. I'd, okay, I'd make a call to the Salvation Army saying I'm homeless, which is technically the truth. I'd give them my address, and then within like four to eight months, they'd probably make it to the island to give me like a, a blanket or something. I feel like that's a terrible idea. Yeah, but I can't... Wh who else do I call? Who, who would you the, call? The Coast Guard. Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'd call I Tate, but I got his number. I'd call that son of oh, a bitch. Oh, no, he'd actually pull up on his yacht, wouldn't he, as well? Yo, Top G, yeah. I'm, uh, I'm out here... Uh, on an island. Help! Oh, what? You're, you're, you're on an island, mate. Oh, don't worry. Don't worry, mate. I'll come over. <laughs> and you just hear, like, like it being blasted. It being blasted from the speakers. The doo -dee -da -dee -da -dee -da. Oh, my God. <laughs> He's just, like, on the front of the boat. I saw a TikTok that went viral of a guy. And he was on this little uh, jet ski. And then he sees Andrew Tate on a boat doing the nunchuck thing. And he films it. And just to make sure he got his clout in, he kept flipping the phone over to show his face. Yeah. And then what accounts have done, I think it's like a three minute video. And what accounts have done, they've downloaded that clip and they've cut out the bit where, where it shows the guy's face. And I think the clip in total is like seven seconds long <laughs> because the amount of times he just keeps cutting back to his face. Like literally yeah. doing the fucking soy point like this. Yeah. Constantly. Ooh. Yeah, it's you. Like, Andrew Ooh. Tate, Andrew Tate, Andrew Tate. I do, those he's videos are so funny when he's, uh, like there's a guy who can dance really well who, uh, I know, I know the one. Yeah, it's I know awesome. the one. I yeah, I, I like how all of those Andrew Tate videos of him being filmed in public. I think 0.1% of them are actually real. No, none of them are. I send them all to Andrew Tate as well. Every time <laughs> I see a video, I send it to him. He does not like them or respond. Oh yeah, it doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't respond. <laughs> <laughs> what are some things you're passionate about outside of YouTube or the internet? And furries. True. True. Yeah. Uh, yeah commissioning. Spending twenty thousand dollars a month on uh, furry art. Anyways, uh, I, I think like I think merch as well. I've kind of wanted to look at merch because there's a lot of YouTubers that I wanted to start like some kind of merch company with. Mm -hmm. I think yeah, I, I think because uh, there's not really a lot of good merch companies at the minute that provide stuff for YouTubers. I think some of it could be like just mass printed and shit. It's uh, I think I went to this expo once and I saw like Justin Bieber. Uh, Justin Bieber was selling. He wasn't there, but his company was selling merch for his tour. 
And apparently, like, he was selling them for, like, $40 or something. And then I learned the cuss to make them because they were cheap Gildan tees. I, th I think it was, like, £2 or something. So the markup is insane. Like, like merch is just a, a money printer. So I think I wanted yeah. to make merch that actually had, like... Because that's why I haven't had merch for sale. I feel like I'm doing a fucking pitch here. Is it all my have you seen, have you seen a Shark Tank? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I would like you to invest 50 grand in me and I will give you this shirt. Imagine a shirt is 2%. here. Imagine a shirt. 2% $12. I have a new game for you. Now, if you could invest $2 million in my company, you will get 2%. Now, the game is called Among Us. <sighs> this... <laughs> yeah, I'm not even going to do the bit. I'm not going to do the bit. I got this from a claw machine, man. I was so happy that I got this. You know you know how rigged claw machines are? Oh, yeah, man. They're the most rigged shit on the earth. And the fact that I won this, I need to get this framed, man. It's amazing. Uh, yeah, I, I, uh, other hobbies. Uh, I want to do skydiving at some point, you know. As a hobby, like a consistent thing you do or just once? Well, if I survived the first one, yeah, I'd probably do it again. <laughs> do you ever have sex? <laughs> yeah, I, I have sex. How often? I, I feel like you're about to break a smile. Uh, how often? Well, my, my girlfriend's in Sweden, so basically whenever I go and see her. Okay. Do you ever yeah. uh, Have you ever tried NoFap? Uh, you, you threw me off so much, man. I just like how we've gone from like a Shark Tank <laughs> bit to... Do, okay, by the way, do you have sex? It's, it's, it's almost like a, it's a roast in of itself. It's like, yeah, you, 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 ha you don't have sex. You I, don't have I, sex. I, uh, I thought after you pulled out the Among Us plush was a good time to ask. Yeah, true, true. That... That's fair. Uh, yeah, I mean, I've... Have I done no fap? Nah. I, I don't see the point. I'm, I'm literally just a complete degenerate kuma. I, I, like, I see people on Reddit, or Reddit, have said the benefits of it. But again, like, they're, they're going onto Reddit to talk about the benefits of not masturbating. So. Yeah. It's a little suspicious. I feel like if if you've got a girlfriend, you don't need to do no fap, really. Have you tried it? Uh, I, I have tried it inadvertently. I, I go long periods of time where I just don't have a single, like sexual thought my, that enters my brain i'm just like a you don't you don't see like a single like inflated furry or anything for no, weeks no. On end. usually i just look in a mirror and that's usually what gets me turned on <laughs> so but no i'm just actual kidding fucking no he's not he's not <laughs> patrick bateman actual sociopath <laughs> It's like, oh, my, my six pack, it's so good. It's so, just looks in the mirror like the and shit. there's so many mirrors in my room um yeah, yeah. why uh, what are your thoughts on autistic people? <laughs> Again, this is the same, like, do you have sex? Uh, I, I, I never really thought about, like, autistic people. I, I guess, like, when I was growing up, they were kind of, like, memed on a lot. But yeah, I think it's, like, because so many people now are, like, being diagnosed later on in life as, like, being... Like, like I, I see Twitter absolutely strewn with people that have, like, said that they've been diagnosed with, like, autism and ADHD and stuff. Mm -hmm. But, uh... Yeah, obviously, like, I'm not sure if that's, like, self-diagnosis or, uh... Because I, I think, uh, we're definitely in a culture now that promotes talking more yeah. about mental health, right. which is good, and that's really good. But I feel like that'll always be hijacked by people that kind of just will self-diagnose for the sake of it, just to kind of get, like, attention points. Warp Cause, it cause into that's their what, identity. That, yeah, that, that's what I think all people want to do is stand out. I think that's yeah. almost like, uh... Because you know how many songs there are, right, in pop culture about, like, you know, that everyone wants to be the hero of their own story, everybody right. wants to rule the world, that, that kind of shit. So it's almost every, everyone kind of instinctly, innately, sorry, wants to stand out to an extent, and I feel that people kind of gravitate towards, you know, like, saying, oh, I've got this, or I've got that, to stand out. Not everyone, it is a very small fraction of people, yeah. but yeah. We're, we're definitely talking, I think regardless, we're definitely talking more about, like, mental health and stuff now. Which is good, so, yeah. There's less of a yeah. stigma for sure. Yeah, I think it's, I do find it funny that most people who, that self-diagnose don't self-diagnose with the bad shit. You know, they always, they always self-diagnose with the stuff that's kind of a little fun, you know? <laughs> Which is like a little, I'm a, a, okay, a little I've been diagnosed with terminal quirkiness, guys. <laughs> I'm so quirky. <laughs> exactly, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm terminally quirky. What was up with that, that uh, little mod slip up you had recently? Uh, what, what mod? Nothing happened. There was an ironic twist in your in a recent stream you have where you were talking about how just insane TF2 players were, and then <laughs> you opened up your game and then something horrible happened. I know I got my shit. Okay, yeah, and then oh fuck, oh fuck. You remember that? Uh, August twenty seventh, uh, uh, nine p.m. There was a power cut. There was everything it's turned off. Cut, yeah, blackout. Yeah, rolling blackout. Kind of, yeah. Yeah, some kind of bug, an OBS or something. Yeah, weird, yeah. I, yeah. I saw the bug, it's strange. I've never really had that happen to me before, but I could see it. 
I hate that I had that mod installed. I, I, you, <laughs> you know the worst. You know the worst thing is, I. This shows how far gone I am. I had no shame that I had that mod installed. I was just scared of a ban. So I ended stream straight away because I was like, okay, this is like a, a literal kink mod. It's I'm probably going to get yeah. a ban for this. Yeah, exactly. Huh. So I was like, okay, I'm probably going to get a ban for this. I so never... I just like quickly, yeah. I quickly closed everything and ended the stream. When I saw it, my like redneck country boy brain, I was like, what is the, what is the big deal? What does this even mean? And then I was like, oh wait, I think I understand. And then I asked someone and they and they explained it to me and I was like, okay, that does make perfect sense. And that all ties in. It's, it, it's genius how like how innocent you are as well you don't even understand like the degeneracy of how someone right, can like, I don't. whack off to that yeah yeah i don't get it i really don't get it. i'm a very simple uh guy i'm very very simple i'm just like a you know you're literally one of the few youtubers that are going to go to heaven when you die <laughs> and, and that's a bad <laughs> and that's a bad thing by the way that's a bad thing um what is your favorite std uh i feel aids yeah aids is kind of up there i think aids okay uh, only because uh Max Mofo, he had like a meme on the podcast. Have you heard of Aid Car? It, no. Okay, so Max Mofo had uh, Max and Chad did cold ones, and then Keemstar came on, and Max didn't want to appear with Keemstar because he doesn't like him. So he did this bit where he was like at home, and Chad calls him in the beginning, and he's like, "Are you ready to do the episode?" And then Max goes, "Nah, I'm not coming." Anyway, have you seen this meme? It's called Aid Car, and if you look up Aid Car, it's just a, a car that's deep fried to shit. And the number plate just says AIDS. Okay, it's I, it's, it's yeah. the worst joke ever. It's so unfunny, but like me explaining it right now is kind of making me laugh a little bit. I, yeah, it know? sounds funny. Like I'm I'm surprised that you think it's not funny. It, it, it's just because it comes from Chad and Max, and it's on like the seventh layer of irony. I will say for clarification, I believe AIDS is the result of an STD. HIV, I think, is the actual uh, AIDS STD. So we're 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 a little in the we're a little in the waters here. We need to pull it back a little bit. Okay. All right. Um, <laughs> but I love AIDS, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's funny, dude. I love uh, uh, Max and Chad. They're, Cold Ones is like actually one, probably one of the very few channels that I uh, watch. I was gonna YouTube, say, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I agree with that because I, I know I said I don't really watch yeah. a lot of YouTubers, which is true. But right. I, I think with uh, Chad and Max, they do some that they do kind of always pull it out the bag, yep. so I can kind of watch them. And also, their the humor is just so dog shit. Like it's hilarious. It's great, yeah. Like it's uh, like I feel like you know you've got like you know. The, the divine comedy, Dante's Inferno, you've got the eight circles of hell. Each one gets worse and worse, like pride, lust, greed, gluttony. I feel with them, you've got like the eight circles of irony. So every <laughs> layer, the jokes yeah. get more and more unrecognizable. Yeah. yeah. I feel yeah. Aid Car is on like layer five or something, I think. Yeah, Aid Car is a little higher, uh, a little, like right in the middle, I'd say. What about crinkling? That's that's on a low level of irony. Have you ever done crinkling? You've ever participated in crinkling? I've heard of that, but I don't know what it is. It's a fetish Wait, in what? which you wear a diaper and the crinkle sound that it makes turns you on. Oh, uh, you know what? You know what? I, I think I saw uh, I saw a video of that at a furry convention. Oh, no, it was it was an internet historian video. That's right, an internet historian video. Yeah, yep. I, I kind of, the thing is as well, obviously like, to each their own, and I'm way too. I always say this as a bit, and I, I do mean it genuinely. I'm definitely too much of a degenerate to judge other people's like interests. Right. But I, I see things like that, and I'm like, okay, I'm not at the eighth circle of hell yet. Yeah, I'm on yeah. like maybe I'm on maybe like floor six, yeah, maybe you, seven. You, There's always someone worse. There's right. definitely always someone worse. Well, who's your favorite character in Paw Patrol? Paw Patrol. Oh f no, you, I gotta look at the Paw Patrol law now. Hang on, what is this? The f you got Rubble, Alex Porter, Captain Turbo. What are these names? Do they make this on Fentanyl? Everest, Rocky, Paw Patrol, nine seasons. What's the rating? Six on IMDb. This looks like, it, it, this is like a Coco Melon thing, right? Yeah, it's like a children's uh, show. It's my favorite character. Uh, f*** it, the, uh, yeah, Mr. Porter. Okay. This just in. There we go, Mr. Porter. Um, now, what do you think of the wage gap? I love it. Oh, no, I think it's great. Honestly, <laughs> like, as long as I get... <laughs> It's it's genius how it's not even ironic as well. Eh? Like as long as, as as long as I can keep my money, we we happy. Yeah, we good. Oh, man. We I'm happy. Good. Yeah. Anyways, we'll move yeah. on from that one. That was easy. It was quick. <laughs> um, not, not even any debate. There. <laughs> <laughs> Who's more likely to be a furry, Donald Trump or Joe Biden, and why? Mm, I wonder why the two millionaires don't want a tax to increase. I wonder why. <laughs> <laughs> move on. Move on. Anyways. Anyways. When was the last time you shit yourself? Uh, just before recording this. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah, Just dude. before recording this. Yeah. 
Oh I, yeah. The thing, you, you know why I do that? I subject myself to so much spice because I, I've tricked myself into thinking one day I'm going to go on hot ones oh. and I need to kind of acclimatize myself for the spice, even though I'll never be on that show in my life. But I, I thought, okay, I need to make sure that I get enough spice in my body enough capsaicin because apparently you do slowly build up a tolerance mm -hmm. but uh yeah it's not working it's, it's not working spice doesn't bother me much i don't uh i don't know i'm like 48 percent from the county of Dun my great grandfather's from donegal islands ireland so i'm like white as possible and i just it doesn't bother me at all i don't know what like i can That's so weird like yeah because usually if you're irish you're shit yeah. with spice mm -hmm. you're good with alcohol but you're shit with spice do, I, do you do you drink much i don't drink at all no i've never drank in my life really not even sarcastic yeah it sounds sarcastic as I really don't, yeah. No, no, I remember I, uh, Schlatt, I think Schlatt drinks now, but I don't think Schlatt drank until like for a, a lot later in his life as well. Yeah, like when he I've was never like, drank. Uh, okay. Or done crack or anything like that. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> I mean, what, what, one of them's legal, by the way. Hi. Hello. True, yeah, hello. Yeah, it's it's true. Um, so, so like, what do you, what do you like, like, like no, no, no drugs, like no weed or anything either? Uh, no, I have friends that do it, but no, I've never, I've never, I've never been high or drunk. Okay. Do you, do you feel like you're... That, okay, that, that, I, I know this is an interview about me, but that's interesting because the, the UK has such a huge drinking culture. We yeah. have such a huge, it, it's insane. Like, like, it's kind of sad, actually. It's like, in the UK, uh, there's nothing you can actually do that doesn't involve drinking. Because it's like, you know, you if you go to London, for example, the capital, everyone's out uh, in bars drinking. Everyone's going to events, like concerts, they're drinking. Uh, the only thing I guess you, you could do is do something really kind of out there, like uh, rock climbing or something. Or, I mean, you go see a film, but then you just sat there in the dark for two hours, yeah. not even being able to speak to the other person with you. So, yeah, that, that that's interesting that you don't, you don't drink at all. I don't drink or I mean, socialize. Ah, uh, that's, uh, that's the one. Yeah. Uh, that's the one. I mean, that's most YouTubers, to be fair. Yeah, no, are, I don't we know. Basically, we're basically we're just complete hermits. Yeah, hermitage. The hermitage of YouTube. Yeah, no, I'm not a. I'm not a big. Uh, I've never really been big on uh, anything like that. I don't know. I'm I feel like I'm barely holding it together now. So I feel like if I started to rely on anything, that I would. I would quickly spiral into. Yeah, yeah, nothing. like it's a vice. Yeah, no, for sure. No, um, that, that, that's good that you don't drink. That's that's basically a fucking. I mean, in the UK, you would literally get like a fucking medal. Made out of chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> um, who would be more likely to be afraid, Donald Trump or Joe Biden, and why? Why do you think? I mean, Joe Biden because he's like left wing, right? Uh, true. Yeah. yeah pro pro true. Jo Joe Biden, with his mental capacity, he could be tricked into being a furry, and he wouldn't even know it. I think. Yeah, I actually think you might be right. I think he could be like fully led into just reading a script or what from the teleprompter, mm. and he's just like talking about his name's like Nyla, and he's a. Uh, 785 pound, 11 foot tall gorilla. There, there's a, there's a, I really want to find this for you now. There's a meme. Uh, hang on. I do that thing where I type and I can't speak at the same time. There was very inflation art that like an official account of like the government of Australia retweeted. I've do you know the one this. I'm on about? Yeah, that's uh, awesome, bro. They're basically talking about like uniting the workplace. Uh, th th this Facebook page, I think in Chicago. And this is on Facebook. The most cursed place. So they literally posted a furry inflation. They they posted furry. <laughs> oh, they posted like furry inflation art, like not understanding that it's like a fetish thing at all. It's so it's so genius. That's awesome, awesome, dude. That's why Poor I love fuckers. Chicago. Um, you you want to play a little round of f Mary Kill? Okay. So all so right. how 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 does this work? You if you f someone you can't. F anyone else right you have to marry or kill whoever's left yeah is that right yep okay all right fuck mary kill nala from lion king lola from shark tale and giselle from uh open season those are the, those are your th first your first three choices i can also share my screen if you want okay so i don't know giselle nala nala marry lola kill because she's a bitch uh giselle i i don't know so i guess fuck. <laughs> <laughs> okay that's fair that's fair mary kill uh rouge the bat from sonic birdo from mario or Anka from um, Animal Crossing. I kill uh, kill Rouge. Fair. She can't really be can't really be trusted. Uh, the the Birdo thing. Uh, uh, the the holy. Imagine the shuckle on that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Definitely. Definitely. F definitely. For sure, not, yeah. Not even. F the b and then uh, then marry. Yeah. Yeah. This I she, feel she'd be a yeah. bit. She'd be. A bit she'd be a bit of a bitch though, right? I feel like if I married her, she'd definitely be signing a prenup. So like you know, doesn't she looks doesn't get f judgmental? You know what a prenup is. Yeah. Yeah. So she'd be signing one of those. Like she's not getting fifty percent of my money. Yeah. Prenuptial no agreement. F that bitch. <laughs>
Um, okay, round three. Lola Bunny from Space Jam 1, Gloria from Madagascar, or Tigress from Kung Fu Panda? Or, or, already, already Gloria Mary, 100, 100%. Okay. Literally, like, ticks so many boxes for my demented brain. Uh, who are the others? I kind of just zoned out after seeing Lola. Gloria, man. I was just like... <laughs> Lola and Tigress. Can I just... Can I just marry and f Gloria and then kill the two others? Is that okay? That's fine. Yeah, we'll allow that. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. And then yeah, Gloria from Happy Feet is another uh, potential option, but I feel like you're set on uh, Gloria from Happy Feet. Yeah, it's, it's 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 done. It's done. It's done deal. Cool. And that's it. That's all I've got for you. Thank you. And I have no more questions. <laughs>